The reason that few countries spend billions of dollars on military drones is because drones will play a vital role in the resolution of future conflicts and in the replacement of the human pilot. Used as target decoys for combat missions, research and development and for supervision, drones have become a part and parcel of the military forces worldwide. Some sources said that military spending will remain the main driver of drone spending in the coming years. With this, we would like to present you guys the 10 main underdevelopment military drones, so stay tuned and do not go anywhere. At number 10 is the EADS Talarian. This is a twin-jet, medium-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned aerial vehicle designed and manufactured by European Aeronautic Defense Space for France, Germany and Spain to meet their future military needs for aerial reconnaissance, military intelligence and aerial surveillance. The twin-jet engine UAV will be principally used to perform intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition and reconnaissance operations. It will also perform land, sea and littoral environment missions. The design of the aircraft allows it to operate in different configurations and it will be equipped with electro-optic and infrared sensors. At number 9, we have the Kratos XQ-58 Valkyrie. This is a stealthy unmanned combat aerial vehicle designed and built by Kratos Defense and Security Solutions for the United States Air Force. The Valkyrie successfully completed its first flight on 5th March 2019 at Yuma Proving Ground, Arizona. This low-cost UCAV is designed for deployment in surveillance, reconnaissance and long-range combat missions to deliver maximum operational flexibility and utility to the warfighter. It features Dell technology with trapezoidal fuselage and chined edge, V-tail and an S-shaped air intake. The stealthy design makes the UAV a difficult target to detect and track. At number 8 is the BAE Systems Tyrannis. This is a British unmanned combat aerial vehicle under development primarily by the defense contractor BAE Systems Military Air and Information. This aircraft, which is named after the Celtic god of thunder Tyrannis, first flew in 2013. Tyrannus is stealthy, fast, able to carry out test deployment of a range of munitions over a number of targets and to defend itself against manned and other unmanned enemy aircraft. It could be powered by the Adore 951 engine, which has a target maintenance interval of 4,000 hours. A fully developed Tyrannus air vehicle will be capable of delivering weapons to another continent. Up next at number 7 is the Sukhoi S-70 Akotnik B, also referred to as Hunter B. It is a Russian stealth heavy unmanned combat aerial vehicle being developed by Sukhoi and Russian aircraft corporation MiG as a 6th generation aircraft project. The Okotnik's design is based on the flying wing scheme and incorporates use of composite materials and stealth coatings making the drone low observable in flight. It has a weight of about 20 tons and a wingspan around 20 meters. The drone is powered either by a single AL-31F turbofan as used on the Sukhoi Su-27 fighter aircraft. At number 6 is the General Atomics Avenger, which is formerly known as the Predator C. It is a developmental unmanned combat aerial vehicle built by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems for the US military. It offers long endurance and high operational speeds and can be deployed in intelligence, border and wide area surveillance, armed reconnaissance and precision strike missions against threats in both conventional and asymmetric warfare. It is fitted with high-performance multifunction all-weather length radar for target detection up to a range of 80 km and is armed with a variety of combat-proven weapons. At number 5, we have the AVIC-601S, which is an unmanned aerial vehicle development program containing series of Chinese low-observable flying wing UAVs jointly developed by Shenyang Aircraft Design Institute of Aviation Industry Corporation of China and Shenyang Aerospace University. The aircraft represents China's first official foray into a jet-powered, stealth-minded unmanned aerial vehicle and is believed to serve the role of technology demonstrator for a possible future combat system. It is presumed that there lies an internal weapon base for munitions. At number 4 is the Mikoyan Scat. 
This is a concept of a stealth unmanned combat aerial vehicle being developed by Mikoyan for the Russian Ministry of Defense since 2005. The SCAD is a low observable subsonic UCAV meant to carry weapons in two ventral weapon bays large enough for missiles such as the KH-31. It is powered by a single Klim of RD 5000B turbofan engine and the UCAV has a maximum takeoff weight of 10 tons with the maximum speed of 800 km per hour at low altitude. It is intended to carry a combat load of up to 2 tons with a combat radius of 2000 km. At number 3, we have the Northrop Grumman MQ-4C Triton. This is an American high-altitude, long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle under development for the United States Navy as a surveillance aircraft. Triton builds on elements of the RQ-4 Global Hawk, changes include reinforcements to the airframe and wing, de-icing systems, and lightning protection systems. These capabilities allow the aircraft to descend through cloud layers to gain a closer view of ships and other targets at sea when needed. The sensor suites allow ships to be tracked by gathering information on their speed, location, and classification. At number 2 is the Northrop Grumman RQ-180, which is an underdevelopment American stealth unmanned aerial vehicle surveillance aircraft intended for contested airspace. After the retirement of the SR-71 Blackbird in 1999, the U.S. Air Force lacked an intelligence platform capable of penetrating airspace guarded by advanced air defense systems. The RQ-180 was designed to fulfill the missions previously accomplished by the high-speed SR-71. It is equipped with an AESA radar and passive electronic surveillance measures and may be capable of conducting electronic attack missions. It is larger, stealthier, and has a longer range than the RQ-170 Sentinel, which has previously been used for those types of missions. At number 1 is the Boeing MQ-25 Stingray. This is an aerial refueling military drone that resulted from the carrier-based aerial refueling system program, which grew out of the earlier unmanned carrier launch airborne surveillance and strike program. The original UCLAWS concept was for a stealthy strike platform capable of penetrating enemy air defenses. Boeing's MQ-25 design is powered by one Rolls-Royce AE-307N turbofan engine delivering 4,500 kg of thrust. It is a variant of the engine used to power the Navy's MQ-4C Triton. The aircraft is less stealthy than flying wing UAVs, however, it still features a stealthy fuselage shaping, flush inlet to shield engine blades from radar and V-tail. And with that guys, we're winding up the video for today, but don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to join the Buzz family. Thank you for viewing in, we'll see you again next time, bye bye.